boom, boom. Hello, hello, good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm looking for some queens. If you're a queen, throw me a crown and come on down. Today is Saturday and I don't see a single solitary soul. Should I be worried? <laughs> if you're queen of your own life, there's my girl, Yvonne, my wittier girl. Hi, Yvonne. There's Marla. These are queens. These are queens. If you're queen of your own life, you can throw me a crown down right now. I am the queen of my own life. I've decided today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. And you know what? In just nine days, guess what's, guess what's happening in nine days, you guys? We are sprinting again. There's Catherine and Tracy. Guys, come on in. Are you sharing this, by the way? You know what? You can bring in a friend, and then I'm going to see that. I like it. Terry just got my book yesterday. Which one, Terry? I got a, I got a couple. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I can only get one supplement, what should I choose? Hot Melt Mix. If you're getting on the Sprint, Hot Melt Mix. Hot Melt Mix, Hot Melt Mix, Hot Melt Mix. Guess what? Here's the thing about Hot Melt Mix. First of all, it'll throw you into ketosis a lot faster. And two, it's going to help you with the carb flu, the low carb flu, keto flu, whatever you want to talk about. It's the thing. It's, it's the best. It's get it. It's flying off the shelves. I don't have any of it right here in my office. It's downstairs where I can gulp it. <laughs> right now, um, probably right after the show, I will be going and having my first glass. I have a couple of glasses. It makes me feel better and it makes me pee ketones. Ketones. I like to pee ketones. Yep. There we go. Drizzling in San Diego. We had a little rain this morning, but not a lot. Well, we've got about 30-something people in here. That's okay, but bring them all in. Here's the thing you need to know, you guys. When you share, you care. And when you share to your friends and say a little something about why this is a cool video to watch and why they should be fans on Facebook, on our Saving Dinner pages and all of that, I see those comments, especially if you put them in public. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? I see that and I send you books. I just sent my last saving dinner, my little saving dinner books out. And this week, it's going to be Saving Dinner the Low Carb Way. That's the book that's going out. If you want to win this book, share this video. Say a little something about the video and why you need to come on down and start watching Saving Dinner's Facebook Lives and make it public so I can see it. I will choose the winner on Monday. Thank you, Jan, for sharing. Hi, Margaret. I see a lot of my folks from everywhere. I see a lot of people from my Hot Milk Diet group. Hello, guys. Good to see you. And I see a lot of people who are from my sprint group. And we're getting ready to sprint again. Paso Robles. I've been there. I know where that is. I wanted to talk today about getting ready for the sprint. Because if you go to savingdinner.com, by the way, savingdinner.com slash sprint, you will see, um, you'll see the sprint and you can download it. You can get it right there. And when you get it, there's an invitation to our Facebook group, which is absolutely vital. If you're on Facebook, watching my Facebook live, then you know how critically important this is, right? Cool. So if that's the case for you, then here's what you need to know. Um, getting ready for this thing is there, it's a little bit of a, a tiny bit of work that's involved, a little bit of planning that's involved. I say now's the time. And as a matter of fact, I just did a, um, this is my face. I did a Facebook, not a Facebook live. I did a video that I will share in the sprint group on my kitchen setup because I just made my, my biggest big batch of bone broth. That's going to be make it, made into soup. I'm going to get that into the freezer and get it done. Um, also a little extra bone broth and you know what it makes me feel like a queen when I'm ready and prepared and that there's no there's no stress involved my sprouts are sprouting they're in the little sprout maker and you can see it I'm a, I am a farmer I make things happen I make things grow I love stuff like this now the sprint is set up it's an anti-inflammatory free program seven days and takes you right through the weekend it's a little tougher on the weekends, but you can do anything for seven days. Am I right? If I'm right about that, then throw me down some hearts. That's what I want to know. 
And if this is the case, and if you are going to be doing this sprint, and this is your first time doing this sprint, then there are a couple of supplements that you may want to be getting. And the hot melt mix is something that I just cannot recommend enough because it does the, the job. There it is, saving dinner. There's the, the link to it. And get it now, even uh, it might may go into a back order situation, but I am ordering on Monday. So if I've got a ton of orders for it, I will put a ton of orders in for it. You know, we, we, we work on thin margins here, so I can't order hundreds of product at a time. I order it in batches. And inventory control is one of my arch nemesis in, in life, um, keeping a cash flow. If you're in a business, you understand how that works. Um, so, but I just need to know if this is something that you want, you know, I need to get it ordered. I need to get it out there. So that's, that's critical. Um, and, you know, right now I think we have quite a bit that's in stock. So take advantage of that. Now the warm up is in the sprint material that it's like 17 pages of telling you what to get ready for and, and how to do it. And, um, as queen of your own lives, do you, do you, got, do you guys oftentimes wear a crown like I do just Saturday? It's just willy nilly. I just need to put my crown on and, and claim my territory. I do that. Um, today I'm doing it, but this is this warm up gives you the information that you need in order to start in your, on your very best foot. You know, when we run a race, if we were in high school and we were an athlete and ran races, we didn't just like start running a race the day of the race, we got ready for it. Uh, that meant we were doing um, the sprints and the exercises and the stretching and the flexibility and the strength training and all the things that we needed to do to get ready for the race. So this warm up part is important. And the, what the warm up does is sets you up for amazing success. And I want to go through that today because today is a really good day to get the grocery list made, to get your, your um, sprouts started. And, you know, perhaps your sprouts will sprout up a little bit faster. At least you can get them ordered in Amazon, whatever you want to do. Um, I recommend the broccoli sprouts and the broccoli sprouts are a part of our plan. And the reason that they're a part of our plan is because they have like 10 times the sulforaphane that a regular broccoli has. And by the way, on regular broccoli, all the most of the nutrients are in the stock, not the flower. Just keep that in mind. That's that's where the cancer fighting sulforaphane lives, most of it. So never throw out the stocks. Don't buy crowns. Buy buy whole broccoli and use those stocks. Eat those stocks and keep the stocks that you cut off. Peel them, slice them up, and use them um, in a stir fry or something. That's good stuff. And if it's steamed and it's tender, it's uh, also really lots of fiber. But it's delicious too. It's 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 quite tasty, and uh, really very effective. Throw a little mayonnaise on it like that, and it's delicious. It is delicious, and it's super keto too. Super hot melt. So make sure you're using good mayonnaise. I love avocado oil based mayonnaise. You can find that on Amazon, and if you're lucky enough to be close to a Costco, they carry it as well with Expeller um, avocado oil. It's wonderful. I'm out of it now, and I don't live close to a. A Costco, but I think it's just almost worth it to, to just go down there for, you know, it's about an hour and change away from here and take the coolers and just stock up because they have such good stuff there. And it's, it's a, it's a pretty, you know, save some money. I like that. So yeah, the warm up is, is really crucial because it puts you in the mindset. It, it's your training to get you ready for, for sprinting. So when you sprint, not only are you going to be successful when you do it, you're going to be prepared. So planning and preparation are two things that just can't be stressed enough. I want to know in your life, has anything ever gone well that you haven't planned and prepared for? Anything that, that you really wanted to make a dent in? Think about it. If you're having a birthday party, you plan and you prepare for it. If you're having a dinner party, you plan and prepare for it. You don't just all of a sudden say, oh, I'm having a dinner party. Oh my goodness, I think I'll just run to the, you know, I think I'll just run to the grocery store and hope for the best. No, of course not. You plan a menu, you buy the groceries for it, you you make the the food that you need to make ahead of time, you set the table. You, th those are the things that you do. I'm, at, I'm right now, I'm gonna help you set the table for a very successful sprint. So here's some things that you need to do. One is order your supplements. Everybody asks me, what's the most important if I can only get one? The hot melt mix. I've already told you that. There's a link here in there, so take advantage of that. Get it ordered. That's all. 
The hot melt mix is fantastic. The number two thing is start going low carb. If you are in the, in the place in life where your, your standard American diet, you're eating a lot of packaged foods, there's a lot of carbohydrates and sugar in your life, start knocking that down. Here's the thing. To go from having all of that stuff and garbage in your life to having none is going to be a little bit of a shell shock on your body and a little bit difficult. You might have headaches. You might feel kind of queasy and whatever. And it's not because the good food is hurting you. It's because you're detoxing from all the crap you put in, okay? This is a, an opportunity to clear the deck. So I'm helping you to clear the decks now so that when you start on Monday, October 7th, you're not flipping out. I don't want you to do that. I want you to say, okay, I've, I recognize this. I know what I need to do next. And this is going to bring me into the place of getting it done. So go low carb. Easy. You know what low carb is, right? Just get rid of the flour, get rid of the sugar. And I'm talking all the flours. I don't care if it's gluten-free, whatever. Get rid of all the flours. No flour. Get rid of all the sugars. And I don't care what kind of sugar it is, what kind of fake sugar it is, or what kind of natural sugar it is. Get rid of them. Sugar dysregulation is a thing. It happens. And, I, and there's a lot of people, especially if you have um, a sensitivity, uh, weight, any kind of weight loss resistance or insulin resistance, that's telling you that sugar dysregulation is a thing in your life. Okay? So if we can just get rid of the sugar, and we're just talking about like now getting rid of it, and then for the sprint, let's see how you do. I bet you can do that. I know you can do that. You've got it in you. So get rid of the sugar, get rid of the flour, get rid of the junky, snacky, garbage thing and start getting rid of the snacks. Stop snacking. Just eat your three meals a day as you normally would, but with one thing. Keep it 12-hour fast, meaning no after-dinner snacking. And if you stop, if, if dinner's over at 7 p.m., that means you don't eat until 7 a.m. the next day. Two reasons for this. One, you need a feasting time. And you need a fasting time. When you're in a fasting time, you're giving your body instructions, essentially, to start healing itself, to take care of the inflammation, to take care of the metabolic trash that's hanging around in your body that really needs to go so that you're not in the process of digesting. Do you know your, your body basically um, triages uh, it, its, its, um, its operations, you know, its operational systems? Do you understand what I'm talking about with that? So in other words, if you are in the process of digesting, your energy is going to, if you are you got a lot of food in you when you go to bed, your body's going to say, oh, it's not time to heal. It's time to digest. So you kind of, you, you've got two different things going on. Not that you won't, but you don't have your full energy going toward that thing. The, your body needs that fasting time. It needs that shutdown time so the work crew at night can do its job. So give it that. Give it that 12 hours. No, nothing. The only thing that you should have be drinking and is water too. Um, cut back on the wine. If you're drinking wine at night, then cut it back. Cut it back to a glass at night or skip a day or whatever. Because when we're sprinting, we're not drinking any wine. The only thing you're allowed to drink is black coffee, black uh, tea or green tea. In other words, tea with nothing in it. Black uh, coffee with nothing in it, not even the good stuff, no creamers, no fake creamers, no sugars, no fake sugars, no natural sugars, just black. And there's the, it's the sugar dysregulation thingy. Okay, so that's why we're doing that. And then I want you to start moving. Here's the thing that's interesting. Um, in, in my research, I've, it, it's been proven over and over again that your blood sugar levels will go up if you are a couch potato and just sitting all the time you're, you're, you're not moving, your, your metabolism is, is stagnant. Everything is stagnant. Just think of things just sitting there. Things need to move around. It needs, to, your body needs, you know how your computer goes into sleep mode? Well, that's how your body does. Your body goes into sleep mode because it hasn't been used for a while. So if you just go up and down the stairs a couple of times, every 45 minutes, set your phone to do it, then you're going to start getting some movement in there. You'll start getting some strength in your legs you know, again, and the muscle will come back. I, I've just noticed that from doing all my flights up and down. It's just, everything has changed. We just did a five mile hike and it was no big deal. And it, and I, it was like up and down and up and down. You know, it's how hikes are, but it was, it was really good. 
So if you're not moving, you're stagnant. And just like a sleeping computer, you're stagnant. And if you want to start getting things going, what we're trying to do is every single area of our existence, we're trying to light on fire. And that's what we're doing when we go to the sprint. The sprint, the food, is completely anti-inflammatory. Every single thing in there, including, and it's why it's important, are those broccoli sprouts. Because the broccoli sprouts are little nutrient time bombs that are just going off in your body and helping to fill up those nutrient deficits that you most likely have. Most of us do. That's one of, that's one of the points of the sprouts, plus you get some good fiber and, and besides the excellent nutrition. And in, in all the green and all the bone broth, all the healing that can take place. And if you're in our sprint group and you've seen the results that people have had after seven days, <laughs> then you'll know how crazy, how wonderful it is. You know, it, it, it just, it really does move the needle. The food moves the needle. But if we add the things in that I'm talking about now, getting ready for it, we can expect better results. You know, of course your mileage may vary in, in all of that, but be ready, be set up, get those carbs out. I don't care if they're good, healthy carbs, but get them out. They are um, insulin, um, igniters, so to speak, really are. Get it down. The other thing is uh, the vinegar in the water. Now, especially if you are one of these people who are insulin resistant or have you know type 2 diabetes or whatever, um, this is something that you can do. A little vinegar in the water is one a half hour before. Vinegar plus eight to 12 ounces of water. Never drink it straight. It's not good for your esophagus. It's not good for your teeth but water diluted, but vinegar diluted in water is fabulous. It does all kinds of things. Um, it is a, a natural detoxer. It's a prebiotic, you guys. That means that it helps feed the beneficial um, bacteria that's in your gut. That's something that we all need and all want. And it also helps with digestion. It helps to get those digestion juices moving. Everything, help, everything has a purpose. So that, wa that water stuff is just great. Now, I have had, and I'm sure I'm anticipating, last time we had a lot of people saying, whoa, you know, yuck, ugh, don't want to do it. Can I just do the capsules? I say it's better to do the water, but if you want to do the capsules and spend the money on that stuff rather than just buying the, you know, a thing of water and drinking it down, go ahead. I, I, I don't think they're nearly as effective. I think it's great, though. You just got a 95, Marla. I am celebrating. I am. Ce you guys, Marla's under 100. I'm a little teary. I'm a little teary because I've been with her every step of this way. And this is a celebration. And this is why we do the sprint. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So you struggle to get it down, put a little cinnamon in it, put some ice on it. But this is, you know, here's what you need to do, guys. You, if you can take, if you can embrace this for seven days and replace struggle with, it's not my favorite thing. Struggle is something where you've got a snake wrapped around you and can't get it off. That's a struggle. Let's, let's start redefining things like struggle is, is such a big word for such a tiny thing. That's an important thing. Let's start swapping out the more appropriate words. Um, God, I'm just so blown away, Marla. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Um, yeah, and she had her ACV water this morning. You know, these are little habits that you can just put into place even after the sprint is over. But this is our warm-up, you guys. It is our warm-up. We can get set up and ready to go and make this sprint the most incredible thing ever, ever. Now, I just want you to watch something too. I'm going to put this out right now. So, Marla, no pressure. Blood, her blood sugar's normal. She's deeply into ketosis, intermittent fasting, and doing dirty fasting whenever, but just inter regularly intermittent fasting, dirty fasting as needed, but keeping to the one meal a day thing. And look what's going to, she's going to melt, you know right before our eyes it's it's she's just ready to trigger a huge weight loss so it's it's on its way and i'm so excited i'm so excited to watch i'm so excited to be a part of it 
Um, anyway, so back to, back to you. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar, Jerry, is what we need. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is wonderful. When I had rosacea, and even not having rosacea now, I will take it straight on a cotton ball that's that's warm with warm water and use it on my face to exfoliate. It, it's fantastic. Mark says I smell like a salad, but um, then I'll use, I've got this rose water spritzer that I'll, after my fit, skin has dried from the apple cider vinegar, and I do my neck too, because it helps to exfoliate it. I put the spritzer on, and then I put my CBD skin cream on, and it's just basically taking care of all these wrinkles here. Yay. Um, you do, you, however many meals, whatever, it's 30 minutes be before every single meal that you have, Lisa. That's how much ACV. And we're talking about a tablespoon in a glass of 8 to 12 ounces of water. Some people are a little more hard, hard, hardcore and do two tablespoons. My suggestion is to start with one. It shouldn't cause any, any um, acid reflux or anything like that, believe it or not. Um, acid isn't, this isn't, you know, what it, what makes you feel crummy. It actually helps you to feel good. Another thing that you can do, and I'm going to be adding into the sprint as we go. And these, I'm talking to people who have sprinted already, but if you want to cut your, uh, if you decide not to do the, the, um, target trifecta smoothie, that's fine. Or not to do this, um, triples, you know, the, uh, mini smoothie. That's also fine when you break your fast and you just want to do the egg thing. You can back to back off to one egg and do a little wild smoked salmon instead because that's nice and fatty. But still the spinach, still the egg, the one egg, and still the smoked salmon. If you have an issue with um, any kind of um, egg sensitivity, you can use smoked salmon instead. You can use nuts instead. Still get the spinach in. And, you know, the egg has the fat and all of that. But it's always a target trifecta, the three things, fat, fiber, and protein, always. That's what we're looking at. So that's it, you guys. That's, this is how to do it. And, and um, for those of you who are doing, Betsy loves doing the smoothie every day of her life. I love it. Me too. It, to me, it is the perfect setup so that you're not going to fall into the, into the floundering into the, into the woods, <laughs> so to speak. You know, I love Mark makes uh, breakfast. He is a, he's a big breakfast maker. And anybody who's been to any of my workshops at my house when I do my um, Take Back Your Life workshops, um, Mark makes a big Sunday brunch and everybody really loves it. It's just delicious and there's all kinds of things. But, you know, on Sundays, that's the, those are the days that I struggle because I do eat that brunch. And I might even have a Bloody Mary. Not going to lie. But I struggle the rest of the day. I struggle the rest of the day and I can't it you know it's because I've broken my fast so early but I really enjoy that it's something I enjoy so I have to figure out a strategy for the rest of the day for Sunday Jennifer said I'm new here not certain what you're talking about we are talking about the sprint so if you go to savingdinner.com slash sprint you'll see this is something that we're all doing as a group uh, for seven days starting in October 7th and I'm just trying to get people set up for success right now that's that's the whole goal Jen is asking how much of the broccoli sprouts we should eat. You should, um, you should, you should probably do, you know, like a, a little tablespoonful every time you have a salad or a little bit more. If it's just, if you're down to one meal a day, because that's how your long your fast is going. And the fasting is all explained in the sprint document, how to do the fasting. And it's starting with 12 and 12. You don't start with an 18 hour fast. You start with a 12 hour fast, 12 hours feasting, 12 hours fasting, right? Um, and and that, that will explain the whole thing for you. So it just really depends. I would say two tablespoons of broccoli sprouts if you're one meal a day. And if it's two meals a day, um, and that's separate from your break fast, which is either a smoothie or the eggs that I was just talking about. If that's the case, then you're gonna do a tablespoon each time you make your big salad. Um, Okay, Jennifer says, sounds interesting. It's fantastic. No, it is not. The, I will say that weight loss is a big concern. You know, most of us who are in there are just really genuinely concerned about the weight loss and 90% of us are focused on that. But there's a lot of people who are focused on um, the inflammation factor, um, reducing their medications with their doctors, by the way. 
Um, I never, I will never tell you do this and then surprise your doctor with it. If you have a chronic condition, if you are on multiple medications or even just one or whatever, and you have something going on, some kind of a whatever going on, it's really, really, really important to speak with your doctor and get his okay. We have one gal, Betsy is my gal, she's here. Betsy's doctor has worked with her and he's been so impressed with her. She's had um, medications cut in half, one she needed, she could drop and all of, you know, it's really impressive. Marla's also working with her doctor and she is charting everything. She's got it on a spreadsheet. It's like she's making her doctor's head spin, <laughs> which is fantastic. That's the kind of patient you need to be, you know, and if you don't have a doctor who will work with you, then you find one who will. But if you are in as, as involved in your own care as you want your doctor to be involved in yours, watch what happens. Watch what happens. Uh, Yvonne is saying she has fibromyalgia and her inflammation is down and she has less pain. Yvonne, I would get, I hate to sound like a shill, but get InfloCrusher if you haven't ordered it yet because that stuff is the bomb and, and I, ha, I cannot even, I cannot speak highly enough of that. This stuff is, is crazy. Um, Todd, who is my, my, um, he's my, my, what I call my supplement guru. He has helped me so much. He's my rep and he helps me with, um, the things that I need to get for us. Um, I told you we have pharmaceutical grade, um, batch tested supplements. They're all made here in the United States. Every single raw ingredient that they get is isolated and tested for 30 days for efficacy, for any kind of fungal, this, that, and the other. I mean, any kind of gross stuff. It's everything is tested. This is why my stuff is a little bit more. But you're paying for quality and you're paying for the assurance of knowing that you're not getting stuff that's, that's scary, has never been tested for efficacy. Understand this. There is no standard that says these products need to be tested for eff efficacy. So yeah, you can go out and you can find an L-glutamine that's going to be cheaper than mine. But keep in mind, you don't know the source of that L-glutamine. And I, t I say this all the time. It's made from duck feathers and human hair hair if it came from China, for example. It's legit L-glutamine, but is that the source really that you want for yours? Mine is made with fermented beets. It's a longer process. It's a clean process. Each, each, <laughs> each uh, container, you can, you can be rested assured that is batch tested, batch tested. And you know, I, I, have every, I have a lot of people using it and they've gotten phenomenal results because it will kill cravings on contact. And again, that was something that was taught to me by a psychiatrist who I had on my show a long, long time ago. And we did a whole series of, um, of, of you know, uh, about uh, addiction. And addiction is addiction is addiction. It just shows up in different ways. Your addiction can be something that is um, as easy as, I'm addicted to pretzels, or it could be chocolate like I have, or it could be sugar, it could be cocaine, it, it could be methamphetamine, you know, it could be heroin. Here's the thing you need to know, that those addictions, you, the way you jones for something, the way you obsessively think about something until you get it, it's the same process that happens in any addicted brain, because your addicted brain it has the same areas that light up when you turn on that area by giving your, your body what you're craving. So if we can shut that down, then we are 20 times ahead of the, of the thing. And I think I have this, I'll show you. This is the L-glutamine, L-glutamine. I can't do it, there it is. This is the stuff that does the trick. Betsy says, I'm Betsy and I'm a food addict. Betsy, I'm Leanne and I'm a food addict too. I overeat. I eat too fast and I'm hopelessly addicted to chocolate and need to stay away. I have yo-yoed up and down and up and down. I, I call it the carousel of crazy because I have gained and lost weight. I don't have my thing right here, but I have been up to two, my highest weight has been 237 and I am, uh, you know, my, my good goal weight is 150 and that's where I'm going right now that's my i'm sliding back down to that i've got a little i've got a few pounds to go but i that is my goal weight that's my size six jeans that i have that i posted in the sprint yesterday 
So it's, it's the thing. And if you want to know, yes, you can have coffee. Jennifer, I'd never take coffee away. That's criminal. <laughs> it just needs to be black. That's all. And start trying now. If you are not uh, a black coffee drinker, you can train yourself to be. I did. Marla did. But listen, anybody who takes away coffee, I, it, I immediately, I shut them down. I don't listen. They don't understand. Coffee understands me. Coffee and I are like this. We're BFFs. You've got to have it. So, but if you are a food addict, addict um, read Body Clutter. Read Body Clutter. Body Clutter is the book that Marla and I wrote 15 years ago. And we thought we had it down. We thought we had it down. Yeah, Liso does the L-glutamine. It does work for shaving. Um, how tall am I? I'm almost five foot eight. <laughs> oh, are you trying to see if my weight lot, what, what, my, that my weight goal is a good one? L-glutamine helps inflammation. Yes, L-glutamine. Well, L-glutamine helps inflammation in a, a kind of a strange way. In, in other words, it helps heal your gut and it also helps to calm what's going on in your brain because what L-glutamine does, it's a simple amino acid, is you dip your fingers, get your fingers wet, dip them into a little, I'll show you. I'm going to show you right now. You want to see this? Watch me. Watch me go, girls. I've got a little container here. This is the L-glutamine. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, yes, it does. It works for cravings. This is a craving thing. So L-glutamine works. And the reason I'm telling you about my, the psychiatrist friend of mine is because she had her heroin addicts doing this. She had her food addicts doing this. Anybody who was an addict, anytime they had a craving, this is what they did. Okay, I'm sticking my finger. I got my finger wet. All right. And this is my L-glutamine. I just put it in a little dish. It's important not to be dipping your fingers in it. You need to keep things clean. And then you do this. You see? That much. Very little. Very little. And then you, on your tongue, teeth. Oh. That's it. And you can keep it on your desk. Put a little cover on it, so whatever. And when you have that craving, you immediately dive bomb into that thing cuts them off at the knees. And you can see, read these comments, there's a million people in here who use this stuff because it works. And even if your craving is you're just grousing around and you want to eat, I do that between two o'clock and four o'clock. That's my witching hour. And at the witching hour, that's when I'm like, oh, I'd like to have a little something, you know, and I know that there's cheese down in the refrigerator. I love to go for the cheese, but cheese doesn't love me back. I have this humongous zit that's letting me know that my cheese fest that Marla and I had on Wednesday just didn't agree with me. Now, if I did that every day, I would be back in just flare up in rosacea. This is how I keep it down. Um, you're asking, what's the name of the book I held up? It's called Body Clutter. Um, would this help for gout? Girlfriend, do the Inflacrusher for gout. You have... This it is so effective, this stuff. It's seven times more effective than any other uh, curcumin on the market. It's been tested. It's a certain bioavailable kind. The problem with uh, cur the regular curcumin is they're not using pharmaceutical grade. They're using a cooking grade. M most of them are. And they don't have, a, they have a bioavailability problem, which means that it's quickly digested. You can't hold it in and you hold it into your body and into your intestinal tract where it gets absorbed to get the full impact. A little black pepper will help, but it is just, it's weak compared to this. It's like rocket fuel versus, you know, some gas for your lawnmower. You know, what do you want? If, you, if you're going to go crush, if you're going to, this is my whole point. If I'm going to take a supplement, it better be on the mark. It better be exactly what I need it to be for. That's why you only see the supplements that's in my, that are in my shop. I don't have a lot. There are certain supplements in there. Every single one of them I use. Every single one of them. They're in. This is, a matter of fact, is what I put my supplements in. So, now, which now has the L-glutamine so I could do the little demo. And by the way, L-glutamine doesn't taste like anything. Judy, it's Infla Crusher. And you'll find it in the shop. If you're a type 2 diabetic, I, I would recommend the L-glutamine. It helps. Gout, 
Yes, this helps with gout. The InfoCrusher will help with gout. All of these things, you have to understand, all of these things work to do the job that they're sent out to do. And I look and survey, what, 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 are, what do you guys need? You ask me, how can I handle this? How can I handle the gout? How can I handle the fibromyalgia? How can I handle the pain and the arthritis pain and all of this? These are the things that you can do. You can do it with food. You add fuel to your fire and you, you put your results on steroids when you add a couple of supplements. This is why you're gonna see like 15 supplements in my shop. My 15 supplements in my shop, they all have a purpose. They all are going to do something for you. It's a promise. It's a promise that I keep. And nobody, you know, when you take a look at how many returns I get, the only time I ever get any returns is because the, the um, United States Postal Service destroyed their, their stupid, <laughs> their, their container, you know? That's the only time I ever get returns. And of course, we always fix that and, and get it done. So just understand that if you are dealing with some kind of a chronic condition and you're looking to, to take care of it, you're never going to take care of it with a supplement if you're not taking care of it first with a food. If you're not taking care of your, your stress level, I can't even believe I'm sitting here talking at 45 minutes in. But you guys are asking good questions and I wanted to answer. And I just want you to also take advantage of the shop fully stocked right now. The only thing out of stock right now is InfoCrusher. And that is on its way. It will be probably delivered on Monday. But you guys, I mean, as soon as we introduced it, it was sold out. Do you see this? I'm getting a hot flash. You guys are making me flash. I am the queen of menopause right now. <laughs> okay. I look glowingly beautiful. Thanks, Judy. Oh, somebody was asking me about, oh, Patricia was asking, okay. You know what, you guys, if you want to, if you want to talk, I'll, t I'll talk. You know, you know me, my lips will go. Um, quick about Hashimoto's. Understand any autoimmune disease. This is, I think every autoimmune disease needs to be treated almost exactly the same way. Believe it or not. It just shows up in a different way. To treat your Hashimoto's, I think it's really critical to treat your body with, with an anti-inflammatory diet with intermittent fasting. Lots of fasting, lots of water, lots of meditation, and lots of just bringing it down. Do you know that they have shown in studies that people are healed through, the, through fasting? And also, you know, one other thing, Marla and I have had this discussion ad infinitum because one of the things that I have... I just admitted earlier is I ate too much. So nobody needs, you know, 16 ounces of protein, for example. That's what you're going to get usually in a restaurant. Cut it in half, you know, or cut it even into thirds. Eat less um, and try eating less. That, is, that was one of the keys that really helped me with my Hashimoto's because I recognized that while I wasn't eating off a platter, I was eating off a very big heaping plate and sometimes I went back for seconds and that's ridiculous. I am not a lumberjack. <laughs> I am a 61 year old woman that certainly doesn't need that many calories. Bring it down. If you are, if you are active like an athlete, then certainly, you know, jack everything up that you need the calories, but calories, while they are only one count, they do count, you know, and I get, I really get peeved when I hear people say, don't count calories. They don't count. And I really get peeved when I say, when people say, well, it's calories in and calories out, eat less, exercise more. I get it. I get peeved on all of that. And the reason I do is because none of those are accurate. Those are not accurate statements. We are metabolic beings and we need to have a certain amount of metabolic flexibility. In other words, our food and our intake of food, well, first of all, it needs to be, you know, anti-inflammatory and our intake needs to go down, you know, our intake needs to go down. We cannot eat as much as we have been eating and we need to consciously look at, at how things are. Did you, you remember seeing Marla's, um, did you, did you remember seeing Marla's uh, plate where she's got the fat, she's got the protein, and then she's got the it, you know, it's all divided into places. Your salad should be your biggest thing that you eat. Then a little cup of broth, and that's going to really help to 
kind of calm down your appetite a little bit. There's natural L-glutamine in there too, by the way. So you've got that in your little hot melt soup. And Sandy, no, you can't. The hot melt diet has the hot melt diet soup. It's seven days. And then you can have the mighty mitochondria soup when you're hot, when you're back on the hot melt diet, but not for the sprint. Um, where was I? Okay, so then, you know, you, I don't even know where I was. So I get confused with sometimes with all of these things. But yeah, just bringing down those portions, bringing down your, your eating window and, and stretching those things out. All of these things add up to taking care of squelching the inflammation. If you can get the inflammation down, you can start getting the symptoms down for any autoimmune disease um, if, if, you're, if you're so blessed. You may, you may not. It just depends on where you are. Again, work with your doctor. Fine. This has my, been my experience though. As I ate less, as I moved more, as I drank, as I really dialed in my, my um, diet and made sure that I got rid of, of you know, the stress in my life and started meditating and sleeping, you know, getting a good night's sleep, all of those things, and drinking adequate water started to bring my symptoms down. As I start, and interestingly, as you start to lose weight, your body also starts to heal itself. You know, you cannot hold on to your weight and keep your, your, your blood tests are going to tell you. Your blood tests don't lie. I said that in, in the paleo book, in my part-time paleo book. Your blood tests never lie. Your blood tests tell you exactly where you are. So when you get your blood tests and you just take a look at them and you're looking, and by the way, don't ever let a doctor just tell you what your blood says, tell you what your blood tests say. By all means, what you need to do is say, I need a copy of those. Get a copy of them, start highlighting them, get somebody to educate you on them and know what it is that you need to do. But when you have your blood tests in front of you and you see that there's a lot of inflammation, then you, you, know, you, you know what to do. You've got to start bringing things down. And here's the thing that I know, and here's the thing that has happened for me. Every time, without fail, when your blood, when your blood test numbers start to come down, your weight is also coming down. Because fat is inflammatory. Your, your middle tire, that is inflammatory fat. And it sets off all kinds of hormones that are going off, and it, and it keeps you in inflammation. So if you are eating healthy, but you're not on a weight loss reduction plan to lose the extra weight, if you have 20, 30, 50, 100 pounds, to, whatever it is that you have to lose, you need to start thinking about losing that weight. As you lose the weight, your numbers improve. Ta-da! Look at Marla. Marla's walking example. She keeps track of all of her numbers. And as her weight goes down, so do her numbers. She is rewarded with numbers that are getting into the good zone. And I can't wait for her to do her next blood test when she goes and sees the doctor. I'm, I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of green zones and it's going to be doing. Um, A1C, fibrinogen, there's a few other ones in there. Uh, is inflammation always fat? There is fl always inflammation in belly fat, always, yes. That's part and parcel of the whole equation. You can read all about that. You can Google the heck out of it and it'll show up. But yes, it, you know that's, that's just thing. And you cannot sit there and just, you know, keep trying to eat healthy and not take care of your, of, of your, your weight. You've got to lose the weight. It's just it. And your doctor will tell you that. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything different, right? And the other thing, too, is that you can't just sit. I'm not asking you to go out and get a gym membership and start pumping iron and get on, you know, you know whatever crazy fitness thing. Um, what you need to do, which number indicates inflammation on a, a left slip? Margaret, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Inflammation, there's a lot of markers and you need to, you need to be able to go through your lab tests with your doctor, you know, and have them help you go through it. I can't, I can't possibly do that for you. That's, that would just be well against the, the nutrition rules. I am sworn to not be a doctor. Um, so movement is going to help with that inflammation. Movement's going <laughs> to movement's going to bring down the numbers. And if you don't believe me, go read all about it. If you're a type 2 diabetic and you're not moving, 
you're making a big mistake because you can get the you can get your numbers going down faster. Move. <laughs> and and I'll, I'm going to go even one step further. If you're not moving and God has given you the gift of limbs that move, you're basically thumbing your nose at him. You're basically saying, well, I don't care. I'm just going to sit here anyway, even though I know. And if you know better than you do better, right? Even though you know and you're not doing anything, get up off your lazy butt and do something. I'm sorry, but you just can't sit there. You cannot. Get up and do something. Get up and do something. Get up and do something. If not, you're going to, you're going to take, it's going to go slow and you're also not looking at the gift that you have and it doesn't have to be, you're not in competition with anyone. You're not, you're the only competition. Go walk, go take a walk around the block, go do something, something. The four minute workout, you can Google that, go to youtube.com and do the four minute workout. I do it three times a day. It's not a big deal. I am not in here pumping iron guys. No, I mean, at some point I probably will get there, but you got to start somewhere, but move and watch, watch what happens. Let me just tell you something. When I moved and when I did my anti-inflammatory diet, when I did my meditation and when the weight came off, everything changed for Hashimoto's. I had three huge nodules. They were gone, gone. And I did needle up biopsies, horrible. Don't wish that on anybody. It was one of the most horrifying things I've ever been through. It was painful and thank God it came back all clear, benign. But they were three huge ones. I mean, huge. I, <laughs> I looked like I had lumps in my neck, awful. But all my numbers came back, everything did. Dr. Alan Christensen, right here on Facebook, you can see the video of him doing an ultrasound and saying, Leanne, you're in remission. I mean, the best things I've ever heard. Not supposed to happen with Hashimoto's, right? And I say, phooey on that. Anything, you have the power to change anything. It's a flip of the switch. It is a flip of the switch. Carol says, I don't sit until late in the evening. I'm at my heaviest, about 30 pounds over, probably too much stress hormones. We all have those stress hormones. And by the way, your adrenals make uh, cortisone but it's your liver that picks it up and makes cortisol, and that's the damaging stuff. And if, you, if your cortisone, cortisol is not in alignment and it's flipped, you're not gonna sleep well at night, and stress will do that. And if you aren't moving, you're not, you're not making, helping the hormones move along either. So, I can't believe I sat on this for this long. Anyway, all I'm saying, Move, drink your water, start, the, start your sprint stuff, start getting serious about this, you guys. This is our last time. Marla and I have said it over and over again. We're not doing this again. We're getting it down and we're going to do it. We're never going to be arrogant like we were before and thinking, oh, I got this down. This is no big deal. I'm the queen of my own life. And if you're going to be your queen of your own life, you have to start thinking everything about everything that you're doing. Does this support the life I'm trying to create? That's a simple question, isn't it? Jennifer says, I gained 20 pounds in two years um, having a hysterectomy. You know, somebody else has said that too. It, it happens. Uh, is there such thing as being a border line uh, Hashimoto's? I don't think so. That it takes, uh, that takes a lot of, um, you, you got to do the blood test. You got to do full panel and do the antibodies test to know. And you're either, you're either in or you're out. <laughs> I'm still in, but once upon a time, my antibodies were in the thousands. Now they're down to under a hundred, but and the last time we did them, they were um, just almost at a hundred. So I'm, I'm happy about that. We just need to bring it down. That's all. Bring it down. You cool off the inflammation by the food that you eat. You cool off the inflammation by the movement you make and you, you keep things moving in, in your body by drinking water and by doing things on purpose. Remember, be a participant in your life. Be a participant in your healing. Create this connection between your heart and your head and understand that the more you create a life and prepare for a life that you want, the more you're going to get it. It's a matter of preparation, having the things in place that you need, 
and knowing what to do next. And if you do it even more with a community of people who have your back, everything changes. Everything changes. What advice to a friend that quite 60 had, ooh, plans to have a mastectomy. That's a hard one, Carol. It's hard to give people advice um, when they're sitting there with a cancer diagnosis and all of that. I would only say that you can encourage them with a really good diet. If I were you and my friend was doing this, my support to them would be to make them a big batch of bone broth and maybe some mighty mitochondria soup and go over there and love them up. <laughs> that would be mine. Can you share a reading list? The Obesity Code, Complete Guide to um, Fasting, Body Clutter, for sure. What else? Eat to Beat Disease by Dr. Lee would be another one. I would definitely read that. I think that's super powerful. Um, Part-time paleo, if you want to see an anti-inflammatory uh, diet in action. Now, that is not in the keto zone, but it, real easy. You can unplug some of the stuff that's, that's less keto-y um, in there. What else do I have? Those are, those are some of my books. I mean, I've got all kinds of books that I'm reading right now, but um, the one that Marla had too, I can't remember which, what it's called, but Dr. Boswell, Bos, Bosworth, Ann Bosworth, I believe is her name, and, and she wrote Any Way You Can, I think it is, really good book on keto. I disagree with her on a couple of key things. Um, one would be the net carbs versus full carbs. I, I disagree with her. I think fiber does count. I think it's important and it needs to be part of the equation, number one. And um, a couple of other things, I think, too, that this sugar, Annette Bosworth, that's it. Any way you can. I was right about that. But um, the other thing is, uh, as far as any kind of, um, God, she has something else that I just didn't agree with her on. Oh, the fruit thing. Um, all fruit is evil. Not for everybody. But for most people and for people who are in a place of, of having extra weight, especially if you're 20 pounds plus overweight, knock out fruit for a little while. It's not going to kill you. I promise you. Um, you could live your whole life without ever eating fruit. You cannot live your whole life without ever eating vegetables and you need to have some kind of protein. You could live your whole life without having carbohydrates. You can live your whole life um, with, um, I don't know what a muscleless diet is. I don't have no idea what that is, Melanie. Maybe... I need to go back to school. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's it. You can live your whole life without carbohydrates. Um, you cannot live your whole life without fat either. So you need fat, you need protein, you need fiber. The, the trifecta, there it is again, the target trifecta. If you live by that rule with every single, every and, and no sugar, no flour, no, and no fake flowers either, no, none of that stuff, stay away from it, then you'll be really, really interested um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff there that will help. Okay. It's been an hour, you guys. I can't even believe this. Um, I think it would help with mucus. Yes, it would. Of course, an anti-inflammatory diet will bring down the mucus because there's no dairy. Dairy is very mucus causing. And so is, um, and so is gluten. Those, two, those guys are evil. So, you know, if, if it works for you to bring in stuff that fit it, that will fake you out for like, this is the, your keto bread, your keto pizza dough, your keto, whatever, um, then fine, do it. I don't care. But if it, it if it's not moving the needle for you, then you need to double check and, and take a look. Is this, is this something that I need to be doing? Because your goal needs to be, if you want to rid yourself of inflammation, you also need to bring your weight down. That's part of it. You need to move. You need to drink water. And you need to constantly, you, you need to keep track of your numbers. And you need to look at it and constantly course correct. That's how it is. That's how it is. And the more you do that, the more you participate in this whole process, the more success you're going to have. And you're going to be wearing a crown. Because everybody needs to be the crown of their own the queen of their own lives. So remember, everything that you do, ask yourself the question, does this the support, does this support the life that I'm trying to create? Does this support the life that I'm trying to create? You want a more vibrant life? Eat anti-inflammatory. You want a more vibrant life? Start moving. You want a more vibrant life? More that you can get on the floor, play with the kids, that you can go out and do whatever it is that you want, that you don't have to ask for a seatbelt extender anymore at at the air, in the airplane, you want that kind of life, do these things that we're talking about. It'll, it'll put everything in check. 
All right, guys, I've been on, the, on here for an hour. I can't believe it. It was fun, though. I enjoyed answering questions. If you have any other questions, you know, send them in to support at savingdinner.com. I answer all my questions on Friday in a live Q&A, and I appreciate everybody showing up. Wasn't that fun? Did you wear your crown? Uh, and don't forget, share this video. If you have a friend who's struggling with inflammation or struggling with weight loss or whatever, you know, there's a lot of weight loss resistance out there. It doesn't need to be that way. We can, we can fix that. Um, we've got plans for that and it's free. Savingdinner.com slash sprint. Go check it out and get into the Facebook group. We are going to do this thing. Okay. Take care. Peace out guys.